Hey everybody, it's me, Ben. It is Sunday, September 18th, 2022. And uh, we just ended the last couple of weeks of uh, ups and downs in weather. We had the week uh, prior to this past week was scorching, just unbelievable temperatures. And then this past week that we had here was much more mild, much more, uh, kind of going into fall mode. I'm hoping that that last heat wave was its last hurrah for the year. But uh, yeah, now, uh, as you can see, it's a little overcast right now. We've had a little bit of rain. So um, yeah, it's been kind of a, a weird, weird couple of weeks of weather. And now this coming week uh, coming up is going to be uh, a bit rainy and a bit, um, you know, more fall-like, um, I'm hoping, you know, we're hoping. So we uh, spent the weekend, this past weekend, preparing, you know, putting things away, things that can get uh, water damaged, uh, we put away and uh, just kind of prepped all the animals and everything else uh, for the rainy few days. So anyway, let's kind of give a quick recap from the past couple of weeks. Last week, not too much going on, uh, but the prior week, um, it was uh, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad weather-wise. Uh, it was pretty bad animal-wise. Uh, but you know we got through it. So, anyways, uh, let's start out with the heat wave. Um, we had a really bad heat wave uh, a couple weeks ago. I mean the temperatures averaged 108 to 112. Uh, for five straight days. I mean, even including Labor Day, the Labor Day week, uh, weekend, it was, we knew it was going to get hot. So the Sunday before Labor Day, it was just scorching hot. And then it kind of just carried over until uh, the Thursday or Friday of that week. So um, in the midst of that, uh, we lost uh, a few of our chickens. We lost Ryu, my dad's rooster. He's been our, kind of like our mainstay. Um, I don't know if it was from the heat or old age or a combination of both, but we're really sad about that. But on, on our front, I lost our Orphington uh, Toffee and we lost a ZB, one of our originals. So we lost them to the heat. And so we had no idea how severe this heat wave would have impacted our, our chicken uh, herd. So, uh, fortunately for us, all of our goats and our pigs uh, did okay because we did. We know that with pigs, uh, they don't have sweat glands, so that's why they need to be cooled down with mud or water constantly. Uh, so, their only sweat glands that they have on their body is in their bellies and in their feet. Um, so that's why, you know, everybody says pigs are dirty animals, really not that true because the only reason why they roll around in mud is because of, uh, keeping cool. They, ha the mud keeps them, um, keeps them from overheating cause they can die from that. They can die from heat stroke as well, which we've had happen in a long time ago. So we know to wet down our pigs um, when it's hot. Um, I actually installed the misting system on my two kunikunes here for Lani and Loke. Uh, I have a pool in the shade for them as well and created a couple mud holes for them. So they were dirty, but they were managing the, the cool weather. So, and we have a, a little bit of breeze where I have my pigs at, but with my dad's pigs, uh, I have them uh, I put them on a sprinkler system, so I go out there every couple hours during when I'm at work. Um, I just kind of run out there, turn on the sprinkler, let it run for about a half hour, go back in, uh, turn it off, let them roll around in the mud. You know, it, 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 it helped them a lot. Um, it did. I did worry about the mama pig and the, and the seven babies just because the mama pig is in that in that that's a crate that uh, we keep the baby safe in. Well, I had to wet her down every hour just to make sure she doesn't overheat either. Uh, but fortunately for us, now that we were able to get through this, now she is outside in a pen with the babies and the babies can run around in the hay and everything. So 
they're very happy. So we're, we're very pleased that they were able to get through it. And the goats, and they usually do really well in the heat. They just find shade. And then we make sure we have plenty of water for them. Juno actually also did very well with the heat wave. She just stayed in the shade, kind of just saved her energy. We made sure she had water. So um, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that was what we were able to do during that heat wave. And then last week, it was kind of more of a routine week. It was like uh, 80s, low 90s, it was more, much more manageable for us. So uh, not too much on the farm in that regard, other than moving the babies and the mama out um, that Sunday prior to this past week. So uh, yeah, Juno's doing great. Um, she's out and about. She runs around with with uh, Phoebe, my dad's um, cattle dog or herding dog. Uh, she's our kind of uh, ball of energy where Kai is kind of like our chill dog. Uh, Phoebe's the bundle of energy, but uh, Juno kind of matches up with her in that. They kind of play around. They, uh, they get along with each other, and we're all really happy about that. So... Anyway, that's what we got going right now. Um, also, uh, not this past weekend, but the week, this not this weekend, but the weekend before, after the heat wave, uh, there are a couple things that my brother and I did. We uh, were able to go to that Tiny Fest uh, uh, expo at our fairgrounds here, which is kind of like a uh, exhibition of small, tiny homes, the ones you see on TV, uh, people who live a van life, they have solutions for people who want to live that lifestyle. Uh, I think my brother was more into that, and I was more into, you know, how do we build these things? Since my dad's a contractor, it would be kind of neat to uh, start, you know, build one to see if we what we can do with it. So that would be great. Um, we have plenty of property on here on the farm to to be able to build it on site without disturbing anybody. Maybe the goats, uh, but no. Anyway, uh, we would. Uh, it would be a fun thing for my father, my dad, uh, my brother, and I to do together. Uh, kind of like you know our version of working on an old like 50s or 60s muscle car together. It would be like we're building this tiny home together. So that'd be that'd be neat and fun to do uh, with my dad. So um, yeah, that that was that. And then at, later that evening. My wife and I went to this uh, event called Splatter, and it's um, this, the city of Dublin, California, uh, puts this on once a year around this time, around uh, after Labor Day, and they have this kind of like uh, celebration. Um, it's at the park that's near our home, um, which is, you know, in Dublin, but it's near our home, and we went out there to watch uh, the drone show to kind of look at some of the vendors. They had a live uh, concert going on there. A lot of people. So I think uh, our local station here featured Dublin as a uh, featured town on their news show. I think that helped a lot with the, um, with the uh, event because there were more people this time around than it was uh, two or three years ago when right before the pandemic happened they had their last one so uh, but it was a fun time we got to watch the drone show that was fun it's really neat what these drones can do I mean I when I shoot my drone I just kind of shoot it from high up and shoot down on the farm these things actually make shapes into uh, neat things uh, like I think they did a couple of wine glasses and uh, city of Dublin anniversary it was really neat um, uh, but yeah, my wife and I had a good time there, um, and yeah, that we just kind of uh, kind of relaxed the rest of that weekend and kind of went into the new work week with uh, kind of a rejuvenated uh, uh, mentality. So, uh, looking forward to the fall. Uh, absolutely, I'm kind of done with the summer. And there's a lot of uh, kind of watching over the animals in regards to making sure that they don't overheat and um, you know I'm, I'm, I'm ready to wear uh, a vest again as you can see it's a little overcast now because of the rain coming this week I'm hoping that kind of carries on we do really need the rain so uh, yeah so that that'll be um, something I'm looking forward to and my wife is always looking forward to Christmas to her Christmas has already started so uh, 
so yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's what's going on on the farm right now. It's, I know this is a bit long-winded, but um, it's it's a couple weeks worth of review. So I uh, hope everybody has a great rest of your week, this upcoming week. Uh, like I said, stay vigilant, stay safe with the rain if you're here in the Bay Area. And just, you know, be safe and vigilant wherever you are. So uh, this is the farm, and uh, hopefully I will talk to you all sooner than later. Aloha. Thanks, Gino.